Iraq's political atmosphere is in crisis and the parliament is in level. That is after a disagreement between rival politicians has reached an intense point. Supporters of Shia cleric and influential uh, political leader Muqtada Sadr have occupied the headquarter of the parliament and they say they will not leave until their demands are met. Their demands include that the parliament reject the nomination of Mohammed Shia Sudani for prime minister. Sudani was nominated by the rival pro-Iranian parliamentary bloc, the coordination framework. The crisis started in June when 73 lawmakers affiliated to Muqtada Sadr quitted the parliament after the parliament failed more than once to elect a new president of the state or to elect a new prime minister to form a new government. Assad and his affiliates want to form a majority government by uh, the majority of the lawmakers. They say they had the largest bloc in the parliament, so that, in their words, gives them the right to form a new government with their Sunni and Kurdish allies. On the other hand, the coordination framework Lawmakers say that a new consensus government should be formed in order to include all the various parliamentary blocs. Now, the problem continued and the supporters of Al-Sadr are in control of the parliament. Many state institutions are not functioning and Sadr himself in a recent televised statement has commanded his supporters to continue their sitting in the parliament until the demands are met. He has also suggested that the parliament be dissolved and new or fresh legislative elections be held in order to solve this impasse. The current standoff has severely impacted the lives of civilians. People in the streets have been complaining of that uh, political deadlock. They have been relying on a to be formed new government to handle the multiple crises and to address the needs of the civilians. But there has been disillusionment, there has been frustration among civilians due to the current political deadlock.